everybody, this is the Week Strand. Today, we're gonna talk about Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. If you never heard of them, they were a bunch of troublemakers who made lots of Italian movies during the 70s and the 80s, often as a pairing. They would make very entertaining, not very complicated movie. They had great chemistry together. Terence Hill was the charming, you know, charming guy who had the thing with the ladies and uh, he was, you know, fighting and uh, he was doing all that stuff and Bud Spencer was being the likable oaf with a mindset that he would always punch people before thinking and a moveset that would make the great Kali look like Will Ospreay. I have seen a couple of their movies and I've never been quite a huge fan of them. They're kind of entertaining, but they aren't, you know, high art or anything like that. However, I will maintain that I think that They Call Me Trinity is probably one of the best they have done. I think it is the best they have done and it's probably one of the best spaghetti westerns not directed by Sergio Leone. And I especially like the Swedish subtitle for this one. They call me Trinity, the devil's right hand. Let's find out why. Trinity, played by Terence Hill, is a very lazy gunfighter who uh, mostly being dragged by his horse rather than riding it. And uh, you know, if he can collect a bounty or two for some evil doers, he's well too pleased about life and he thinks that's quite fine. He ends up in a town and he spots a man he knows, Bambino. He's a horse thief and also the sheriff of the town. Turns out also they're brothers. Now Bambino's plan is to lay low here in this little town until he can move on because he's waiting for his pals, the other horse thieves, to arrive so you know he can um, continue with his horse thieving way. However, the plot has to come in, in, into the way and they uh, realize that we have an evil land developers. There are lots of those around in movies and there has always been and will always be I guess who is going to try to reject a bunch of Mormons from their lands and uh, because Terence Hill had the indecency of falling in love with two sisters uh, from the Mormon thing, good work there buddy, he uh, straight up bullies um, Bambino into helping him you know, defend them and uh, they try to, to teach them how to fight so they can fight them off. So you're gonna You're gonna, you know, try to make Mormons into fighters. I see nothing going wrong here. So, this is not high art. This is mostly people getting slapped, people getting killed in lulls and ways, and uh, skits after skit after skit with just, you know, stupid, silly nonsense, which is the normality of the Bud Spencer, Terence Hill, Formula. It is a good formula. It isn't complicated or anything like that. But I think it works very good in this one. Jesus Christ, it's not very hot today. Whew. Maybe I like this one more because for some reason I just figure out that was this the movie that inspired James Cameron to make Avatar? Now I can't unthink it. Avatar is, they call us, they call me Trinity with blue people. But I like the ending especially, which is very ingenious and is completely running with the character. And uh, I think this is a very entertaining movie. If you like Terence Hill and Bud Spencer, and uh, I will not you know, question that or anything like that, but I think that if you do and haven't seen this movie, this is definitely a movie that you do check out because you have missed something truly gorgeous. If you have never seen a Terence Hill Bud Spencer movie, this is probably the only one you should really see. Now, granted, I haven't seen too many of them, but Terence Hill and Bud Spencer always work together best. 
I'm just gonna put this one up of, with Bud Spencer, Banana Joe. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Oh my word, Jesus Christ. So, it is entertaining nonsense, but at least it is entertaining. I give this movie a very friendly 68 points because of its fun, good loving nature, because of the incredible chemistry that has always been the glue that uh, make an odd couple like Bud Spencer and uh, Terence Hill work. And uh, because the movie isn't too overly complicated and, be and because it never goes too much into straight up silliness and keeps itself slightly serious, I will maintain that this is a very good Terence Hill Bud Spencer movie. So, this is Mount Etna. You probably thought I was going to pick a more dramatic movie to have that, but no, they call me Trinity, it is. See you next time from, well, so-and-so reviewing, well, such-and-such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.